try to forget to set this up. All right, welcome to day 64, September what today? I think it's September 4th, 3rd, let me see. September 3rd, um, 2024, and it's a rest day. Pretty, pretty cool day, not gonna lie. Uh, the, fir the, fir the first couple of weeks, oh, I had a, I had a paper. Let me, let me check my paper. So... The first couple of weeks when I started to train, I was like, oh shit, I don't need to, I don't need no rest, you know, I got all this energy, let's go, let's do it, but uh, after a couple of weeks, I started to take days off, like, not doing weights, I continued to walk, like, I just finished, I did a, a little over five mile walk this morning just to have that little cardio going that shit has to go i have to do this so but i'm not doing anything else today today i'm i need to uh uh i wanted to work on my mower but unfortunately it's gonna it's gonna rain so I wanted to work on it outside, so I'm, I'm just going to wait till it doesn't rain. Um, so yeah, the importance of rest days for me, it's always in relation to me, what I uh, feel. And taking, you know, it depends on the, you know, it depends on how I feel, but at least one day rest a week. And, you know, Preferably two. But it's not constantly like, oh, okay, Saturday, Sunday, I never do nothing. It's, you know, some some week they could be one day, some weeks they could be two. Uh, rarely two days in a row. Two days in a row is, especially on the stretch, is harder to come back to. So... <laughs> I'd, I'd rather have only one day a break of stretch and, you know, continue the next day. But, you know, it could happen. But as of now, it hasn't really happened. So I, I can do that for now like this. So, yeah. So yesterday, when I finish, uh, I'm going to talk about the food I had yesterday. Uh, and the pains. Well, it wasn't really pain. It was like pulling and stretching. So after I did my uh, quads and hamstring, you know, I felt, at, you know, within the workout a little bit after, I felt that my calves had, uh, you know, did a little too. They, they had a role to play in that. So there was that. But when that went away and I started just walking because I needed to do an extra 30 minutes walk yesterday <sighs> so I did it but that 30 minute was you know not painful but eh, uh, the 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 bottom front of my shin the shin at the bottom the close to the ankle was really pulling like oh my goodness so i you know i work that a lot probably when i'm lifting the thing i'm you know contracting probably too much <laughs> and uh, it causes that but anyways so then you know of course i i i had a, a crazy meal and uh i went to sleep when i got up this morning now that front pulling in my leg was gone but since i was not doing anything this morning today there was two things i wasn't doing no 
lifting weights, no weight moving, no nothing. And I'm not eating food either. So I stopped eating yesterday night at 7 o'clock. This morning at 7, it's been 12 hours. And now I'm not going to eat for it. Uh, till tomorrow morning at least seven maybe a little bit more because i don't necessarily want to eat at seven in the morning especially if i plan something with my wife that we're going to eat like uh you know a dish that we like uh, sometimes we don't eat the same thing but you know a lot of times we, we like to eat uh similar things uh, maybe with different sides but you know we, we both still like us so we have that plan for uh, Tuesday and I'm not gonna ruin my appetite before I have uh, that 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 steak I'll have to show it maybe on the YouTube edit I'll, <laughs> I'll show that fucking steak anyways so but today I'm not eating so that's why I'm relaxing and uh, yeah, so what I was getting at with this is that after resting yesterday, today, when I was like drinking my coffee, because that's the only thing I had today was coffee. After I had my coffee, I started to feel other places, you know, in my pecs, close to the shoulder. I didn't feel that pain like yesterday, but you know, today was a little... It wasn't painful, but it was like stiff. So, my conclusion of this is that you don't necessarily feel it right away that you need a rest day. But trust me, you need a fucking rest day. Doing nothing is very important. Not doing nothing. I mean, I did walk. I, I, did, I walked like a little bit more than I would normally do today because that's the only thing I was going to do but not like lifting you know those reps it's you're just doing stuff around the house is enough movement you're move you're moving your <laughs> blood is pumping so that's, that's that's fine so there you go realizing more and more that rest days are important especially to me you know, because I remember when I was like, I got another device here, so I'm going to try to. When I was younger, I, as long as I can remember as being a little boy, let me try to get in there. Now why would I Now why would I do that? So how do you get there? Hmm. Oh my goodness, what the hell? Oh, it's trying to. Okay, let's just do this. Let's do this on that fucking thing. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm. Uh, I haven't updated that device in, a, in quite some time, so I was missing an app there that I'm gonna install. So, yeah, I did talk about the rest. Uh, I do want to talk about the food I had yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite the experience of course it was uh, it was like way too much <laughs> but it's what happened after that was interesting to me give me one second Okay, this is almost installed. Yeah, so yesterday I had one of my famous 
because you'll realize that I, I do enjoy cooking and eating. It's, it's for my meal yesterday. Um, I'm trying to remember everything in the morning. Maybe a little something, but I don't remember really. A famous, world renowned Pizza Getty. Like, Pizza Getty is one thing, Calzone is another one. It's similar, but not quite the same. So, anyways, I'll, uh, I'll explain a little bit what it is. Uh, the pizza getty but this is something I used to have uh, in the past couple of years I, I've had you know I found that recipe about four years ago maybe a little bit more actually actually a little bit more it's been probably six years man time fucking flies six years six seven years I've had this recipe to make a pizza crust I didn't want to have to deal with Ah shit, you got to have that rice for like 12, 18 hours or what have you. So I did find another recipe for my pizza crust with like two ingredients. It's like Greek yogurt and self-rising flour. So <laughs> right with the ingredients, you know, you know, flour is it's going to be pretty filling so okay let me check up on my app i need to use the restroom but i'll be back in a i'll be back in a jiffy let me check on this app first okay open it up now i, I need to put my glasses because i can't see nothing uh what do you mean what i have to i don't want to this is just a pain in the ass. I'm gonna have to literally put an account that I don't have the. Oh. Automatically brings me to this. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Uh... Yeah, man, there's old fucking. <laughs> okay, so I'll I'll fill this in later. It's fine. Uh, yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, be right back.
So that's running okay I'm back um, okay so let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about food so yeah so I said I'm not gonna explain how I make the Greek yogurt with the self rising flour you wait about like 15 minutes for it to like set you roll it out so I made about a 12 inch uh, pizza crust and then I put a thin layer of uh, I put a thin layer of uh, spaghetti sauce that was that I made a couple days ago then I covered it with some uh, salami I covered the salami with a generous <laughs> very generous amount of angel air pasta then I had to put a generous amount of spaghetti sauce to blend in uh, that 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 lump of uh, of pasta because you don't want to have just plain pasta so after I did that, I drenched, I drenched the ghost pepper sauce on top of it, covered it with mozzarella, put it in the oven, 45 minutes, no I'm sorry, not 45 minutes, I don't know the timing exactly, it's, it's one of those things, and I know, because trust me, I'm like that too. I'm gonna time it to give a time next time but honestly it's one of those things that depending on how you you've uh, manipulated your crust sometimes you know ah you make it it's 11 inch it's a little thicker so it doesn't cook exactly the same amount but what you want is like your top to be like brown and to have some brown around the crust then you know that you know it's gonna be all right although I have to say I cook it on the this big round dish this big round aluminum dish that has a bunch of holes in them so I'll uh, I'll probably show this shit at some point so I use that it makes the it makes the crust cook pretty even um, so yeah but I don't think you absolutely need the holes because when I think about it a lot of these holes get actually clogged so how well does it work <laughs> uh, you know it, it works something but you don't need it I've done it on uh, the same thing covered with aluminum paper so and it worked so if you have a flat one just a plain one with no holes i think it's gonna be just fine okay so normally i would drive that dish pretty much three quarters of it i could eat like i i cut it in four pieces because it, it, it's not like a pizza just a pizza you don't have all this pasta to deal with so you can cut it in you know thinner slices but when you get big chunks I mean the pizza is about this thick I don't know probably you can see this two you know about two inches thick at the thickest so we're talking about <laughs> anyways I used to eat about three quarters sometimes I used to eat it all but most of the time it was three quarters yesterday 
I tried to eat as much as I could. You know, that's the goal here. I didn't make more to eat it all up. But, you know, if I did, at least I knew I was going <laughs> to be full. Uh, but I ate half. And at half, I could not take it anymore. I was like, oh, it felt, it felt very different. Um, I don't really know how to explain it. But it kind of felt like it... Uh, it slowed down my digestive system it's very weird um so you know then in the afternoon uh, i did have a few a few popsicles so you know what i need to actually close this thing let's charge this i just wanted to see something uh okay so yeah so uh, too that was too much food so i said you know what tom tomorrow meaning today i was gonna not eat for 36 hours so i said i'll eat another piece of pizza getty you know that dish i just mentioned I'll eat another piece and you know I'll be sustained for a while I tried to have a piece I had like two I had one mouthful and I was done that was it for me I didn't need to eat any more I, I had another like popsicle and that was it I, I thought I could eat more and you know Nah, I couldn't eat more. I was done. I was still full from that fucking... <laughs> from the two pieces at noon. And it was like 7 o'clock at night. I, it was just too much. So, I'll give the recipe if you like pizza. It's, it's very easy to make. It's very simple. Uh, I'll give the recipe with the ingredients. It's like very, very simple to make. It's like you don't even have to think about it. Um, I am going to try the one with the yeast that you have to do overnight. Because, you know, flavor-wise, there is a difference. Texture-wise, not that much. But there is one. And, 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 and that, that happens. And not a lot of people know this but the different come the difference comes when the sauce the 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 tomato sauce is on the crust and then the crust cooks like to a certain temperature especially if it's like in a wooden oven it cooks in a way with the sauce that it's not going to be comparable to uh, the yogurt and, you know, self-rising. On that point, it's different. But most people don't even know about this. This texture with the sauce that makes it a little... Uh, you know, you have to have a certain thickness crust for this to happen. And it seems not a lot of people are aware of the thickness. It's all too thick or too thin. It's, uh, anyways, we'll talk more pizza some other time. But I did want to put that in because, you know, I felt that my, the stomach chain, I'm gonna talk, whoops, I'm, uh, I'm kicking the fucking camera. Um, let me see, I have a paper. I wrote some shit I wanted to talk about. But I didn't write everything. So now I'm trying to do what I just thought about and didn't write. Uh, yeah. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lead into that. It's not going to be... Uh, I'm not going to extend too much on this. But because of all this, you know, I have to be real on this. Because of all these uh, gastronomical... <laughs> experience I'm sharing 
Um, trust me, there's no going to even close to 10% body fat. Now, I'm willing to cut a little bit more on those type of dishes and on those quantities that I'm fucking ingesting like. But uh, I'm not willing to cut that much. So I'm, I'm pretty much, I got to resign to the fact that, you know, I am going to have some gut fat. It's not going to really go away unless I go a little bit more extreme, like diet wise, which, if, you know, if I'm in shape, if I'm in a decent shape, let's say, and I'm, you know, nimble and capable of like running, bending, you know, all those uh, nice things that are fun to do crouching like in a baby position just to rest you know i like to do that to when i walk my cat comes towards me and you know i drop like this i rest i pet my cat at the same time so you know as long as i can do these things it's fine i don't think i'm i need to go to that low percentage fat I, I still want to eat that kind of shit for now so it's not gonna <laughs> it's not gonna be a a goal to we're gonna try to build a little bit muscle stay uh, somewhat lean you know not have the fucking gut dropping over the belt that kind of thing and build a little you know the I gotta maintain some kind of uh, muscle mask i mean I, I i did go very thin at some point and, and it wasn't my thing so yeah for now i'm gonna leave it at that but i'm gonna I, i'm not gonna dream that oh shit i'm gonna have a flat stomach even if i you know even if i do uh how do you say i say i know it in french but i can't say it in english um fast even if i fast once a week like i've been doing that for like three weeks it's gonna be the fourth week now or third or fourth weeks i don't remember and it doesn't feel uncomfortable or nothing but i don't think that that is gonna be the game changer that's gonna say oh now that belly fat is gonna burn i think i have to be much more discipline in the pantry and in the you know <laughs> like the dessert section uh, you know i've had a couple of muffins here and there i can't i can't deny that so i know i would have to cut all of these and you know what i just discovered that I enjoy a, a, a lemon poppy muffin cold out of the fridge. I just noticed that. Now, I'm not saying I have these fucking muffins every day. But, you know, once in a while it's nice to have. It's nice to have those uh, banana and fudge like popsicles. I mean... <laughs> I do have those pretty much every night, but whatever. You know, so because of these things, I know I'm not going to go too low, but uh, do I need to? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I don't think I need to. So uh, we're going to continue on that train. So that being said about the belly fat, you know, overall, I'm I'm pretty happy with the result that have happened. I'm I still got uh, what are we now? Day 64. I still got another 26 days to go. So, you know, we'll check it back then. But as of now, I'm pretty happy. I'm much happier now, 60 whatever days in, versus like 90 days ago. 90 days ago i wasn't feeling that great I, I wasn't feeling with that much energy that i have now so you know why would i change 
I, I still have plenty of time to do my other shit that I've been slacking on <laughs> because I was like, oh, I need to find a good way to train and a good, you know, schedule and all that. I just, you know, the conclusion is that I'm going to be putting the time I need to put in there and it's not as much as I thought in the beginning. I thought, oh shit, I'm going to have to train six days a week. <laughs> eh, not not necess necessarily. So, you know, 90 minutes of walk a day is nothing. Walking five miles or 10,000 steps, for me, it's all the same thing. You you know, as long as I do that, I'm good. If I can throw it a, you know, 10, 20 minutes stretch, warm up, you know, what have you. Uh, that's even better. But as long as I walk, I'm good. But uh, I'm having fun doing this, so I don't plan on stopping. Unless, you know, you never know what can happen. Life is a, has a funny way of happening. But as of now, you know, everything's pretty cool. So I'm going to continue doing that. Um, the bench. I wanted to talk about... Because I did contemplate... <clears throat> I did contemplate... Uh, I should have a little board to write the plus and minus. But I'm just going to talk about it real quick. So I did contemplate the, the some gyms. So you know, in the area here, eh, surprisingly, <laughs> surprisingly, there's more gyms than I thought there would be. Uh, we have a Planet Fitness not too far. We have uh, a couple of uh, like bro gyms, which you know I was looking at. Uh, looking at the prices we even have like not too far away like you know fancy gyms with like a bunch of amenity that is like oh my god uh red light boots tanning boots uh massage all, all the whole fucking thing so you know i was like oh, okay so i was looking at the prices the lowest is always going to be, I think, Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness was, I think there was two plans. It was like $15 a month. Uh, and I think there was $25 a month. When I looked, that was the, the deal or whatever ha was happening there. <clears throat> so, you know, I remember, because when I moved here, I actually had a bench with some weights and it was pretty much like this it was a <coughs> excuse me it, it, it was very similar to that it was the difference was it was an Olympic bar and it weighed in at like 35 pounds I knew that was a bar so the bar was longer than this one uh i think i had a little bit more weight and i had like uh the dumbbell weights that i could use the same uh the same weights but it was very similar to that so I had this space that I could use as, you know, for a gym. I did have my two uh, trusty 20-pound weights with the uh, that 30 pounds. And then over there, if you don't know, it's like 100 pounds of weight. You can't do 100 pounds for legs. The leg extensions there. But you can do maybe 80, I would say. The bar there, you can do 100. Um, so this was less with the special because it was like 47% off or something like that. It was like $180 for this. So... It was about the same price as 
like let's say a planet fitness not a gym bro or you know full amenity play just a planet fitness for a year is like what a hundred it's about the same thing what is it 10 150 plus what 30 so this is the same thing it's 180 for both so the thing with the planet fitness is i have to go there i have to go there every time it's like i would say mm, mm, uh, 10, maybe 20 it's about a 35 40 minute drive to go and to come back so let's say about 75 minutes so that's over an hour in traveling gas and you know road hazard possibilities and all of that shit so there's that if i go there of course i can work with much more machines much more defined machines to you know target specific more muscle groups that's true there is the possibility that oh shit they uh they have those workout drinks you know let's try one today i'm hungry i'm thirsty i didn't eat this for you know whatever so there's this possibility that i spend more money um if it rains if it's ah, am i gonna travel five days a week six days a week or am i gonna limit to you know two day because i am limited very limited budget it's not like a, oh you can do both if i can do both i do both it's so money wise you know it was better to do this get this bench with the weights i had and this uh, for now I'm, I'm 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 good i don't need more uh, i can be create create cre creative with uh you know rubber bands i got a couple of squeeze you know i got a couple of things i got other things i can move um that i can use to you know leverage and things like that so i'm good so you know after doing that that's why i decided and quite frankly i don't see doing this you know training with my phone and filming all this shit i, I, don't, I don't see myself doing that so uh here it's you know this is not far from my house i i walk like uh, 15 20 steps okay 25 steps from door to door so it, it was more advantageous to do this here so um plans for tomorrow plans for tomorrow what am i gonna do tomorrow tomorrow I'm doing arms, bicep, triceps. I'm doing calves. You know, every time it's calf day, I'm always like, oh yeah, nice. I'm going to burn my calves a little. I love doing this shit. I do one exercise only. I'll talk about it tomorrow. It's, it's that one exercise. I'll show more how I do it tomorrow. Um... And then bicep triceps of course i do work out the shoulders while doing that a bit of the forearms i i do uh, activate as well so but i might add in there some uh maybe some forearm if 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 my arms are not completely fucking destroyed I might do some forearms or maybe do forearms later when I, you know, recover a bit. Um, so that's the plan tomorrow. We might add uh, extra stretches, but that's with the warm-up section. So 
but I might do extra stretching since I did nothing today we're gonna do extra stretching tomorrow I'm gonna start positioning to do the split now that's gonna take me a while because when I was about I would say 18 20 years old I was doing the splits actually I couldn't do the red the, the red the right leg I couldn't do the right leg front split I could do the left leg front split and the side splits like the John claude Van Damme <laughs> split I would almost do it I if I swung you know my ass could touch the floor a little but I had to jump back up because oh you know it was pretty it was pretty good but I'm not gonna push too hard this time because the first time the reason I couldn't do the right split is because I pushed too hard my uh, my right hamstring and, and and it was always tight after that now I don't feel that tightness anymore that that shit is gone it's been like fucking 30 years ago but I don't want to go too fast or nothing but I'm gonna go that way I want to get to uh, you know stretching those limbs like that so we might do some extra of those maybe add a couple of push-ups you know what I've uh, I haven't been consistent on push-ups and I think I should be more consistent on push-up I should not uh, consider this as like working the pecs with weights I don't think I should treat it that way I, I remember in the beginning my pecs felt, felt better and maybe it was because it was new but they felt better and I was doing them not extensively but I was doing a little every single day so I'm gonna try to get back to that not every single day but maybe two days one day no push-ups two days one day you know, something like that so I'm gonna do that and also I might do a stream from uh, the greenhouse um, maybe this week because I need to go through the seeds I picked up this season. I'll probably not plant them right away, but uh, they're still in there like their shell, their little brown shell, flowery shell. So I need to extract those seeds. And since I got a couple to do, I'm gonna do one at a time probably. Cause I, I don't wanna cross contaminate too much. It's gonna happen. It's definitely gonna happen because they they grow next to one another. So those little seeds fly. So so I might do a greenhouse uh, stream, but I think I'm gonna be done for today. Let me see what time it is. What time is it? Yeah, ten thirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be it for me today. I've talked about pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. Tomorrow, day 65, we're back with the biceps, triceps, maybe forearms, uh, definitely the calves, and uh, like I said, extra stretching and shit. Maybe we'll do the extra push-ups as well. So, uh, yeah, we'll see tomorrow. I'll talk about it after I'm done. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll do a little edit for uh, the YouTube channel or maybe not I'll just maybe I'll just fucking put it like this so uh, there you go thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one all right bye bye